Now I want to create a fan call unit family. This is the fan call unit that I want to create a family for. Creating a family is simple. I just need to create the geometry and uh, add connectors to it. This is a connector, a duct, and uh, chilled water in and out, and another connector for the return duct. I will go to Revit, go to Families, New, and search for a mechanical equipment template. This is my template, and then I click Open. I go to Reference Plane. This is always the first step. I create one reference plane here. Escape, one reference plane here, escape, one here, escape, one here, escape. This is uh, how the equipment looks from above. This is the uh, plan view. And uh, we double click on um, front view, click on one reference plane, CS for create similar, and we create another reference plane. And we click one click on it and we can give it a name so I call it FCU top and I go to reference plane and I call this FCU right and this FCU left and this FCU back and this FCU front. Next, I want to create lots of dimensions. I click, D I click DI for dimensions. One click here, one click here, one click here, one click here, and then equal, and then one overall dimension. Same thing here, and here, and here, and here, equal, one overall dimension. I need it to be 600 by 800 so I will click one click here and this one I need it to be 300 and one click here and I need this dimension to be 400 and I will go to the front I need the elevation to be 200 and that's what how I want it to look like now I want to associate this dimension to a parameter very simple just click here and click here great parameter and this parameter I call it FCU width okay and this I click here click here call it FCU length escape then I go to the front I call this DI for dimension like that escape and one click here click here FCU height I click OK then I will create an extrusion go back to reference plane create extrusion and go to this rectangle top left corner bottom right corner lock 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 and then hit the check mark and then I go to the front I can click here and then move it down and also lock it I go to the 3d view this is how the geometry the box looks like also since I created parameters this is the benefit of parameters I can adjust them here or I can add any formula now I want to create this power box this control panel of the fan coil unit so I will go to um, first uh, first two, 200 millimeters is, is too small so I will edit I will make it 400 okay so there is more room maybe or 350 so there is more room for uh, the this box that we are going to create create extrusion then we'll go to this rectangle and then from here like that and I need it to be like 100 by 200 or by 150 and di for dimension 
I will create this dimension I, I will need to lock it so that it moves uh, when the dimension change so and this one I need also to lock it and then I click the check mark I, I look at it in the 3d so I need it to move uh, above to be on the top of the unit I'll go to the front view AL for align click this one and this one okay click this one and this one then I need the height to be maybe 150 so it starts from 200 and ends in 350 and this is how I I made the uh, uh, the control panel box now I need to create this coil this box that will have the inlet and outlet of the chilled water so I click on any reference plane CS for create similar and then click and then I uh, uh, give it a name uh, cool and coil plane and I need it to be just 100 mm and I go to create extrusion from here and then rectangle from here to here and I lock it and I hit the check mark then I go to um, the front elevation and I drag it to this top level and I lock it then if I look in the 3D this is how it looks like one more thing I want to do I want to go to the right and then the I for dimension and here and here I want to lock this dimension so that when we change the dimensions this uh, moves with the, the uh, fan coil unit so the next thing is we I want to create these two uh, pipes the inlet and outlet I'll just create two uh, cylinder ex um, extrusion I go to the 3d and go create extrusion and then set pick a plane and I want to pick this plane I want to go to click on this right and then circle and then from here I want the dimension the diameter to be 12.5 uh, so that uh, it be one inch I click okay so if I try 15 so it's okay I go to the 3d I look at my sketch so 40 is okay I need to copy it uh, another time so from here copy and I take it from here to here so one will be for the inlet and the other will be for the outlet last thing I want to do is I want to create uh, the geometry that will have the duct getting out of it like this one I go to the front view and create extrusion and I want here I want a rectangle and I want another rectangle inside it I hit escape and then the I for dimension one here one here six I want also to lock this dimension one here one here eight I want to lock this dimension and from here to here one dimension and from here to here one dimension I hit escape and this will I will give it I will give this one a parameter a new parameter duct width 
OK. And this one I will give it another parameter duct height. I will click OK. And the length uh, end of extrusion 40 is OK. So I will go to the 3D. Now I need to move it, so I will go to um, this uh, plan, and then I can drag it all the way, all the way to here, and all the way to here. And then I want to lock it, so I move it in and out, and I lock it. I go to the 3D. This is how it looks like. And I go back to the right uh, view, click here and copy. I take it to the other side. Let's escape. So I go, I can go to the 3D. I create the same one like this one, but maybe from the back. Create extrusion. And I can lock it. <coughs> and the same thing that I did in the front one. So this will be for the return. I click on dimension, escape, then DI. escape and then I give it also so I, I give this one the duct width and this one I want to give it the duct height remove constraints so if I go to this view I need to move this to the this way I can also lock it like that. So this is how my fan coil unit looks in the 3D. Now I can I can turn this off VV and annotation uncheck. So now I will start giving the connections create duct connector. I want to give this one a duct connector and that one a duct connector. I click here and then I click here I hit escape I click on this duct connector I adjust the height to be duct height and the width to be duct width and I need it to be uh, supply air which is okay this one I do the same thing height to be duct height width to be duct width okay so and to be a uh, return air return air and flow direction in not out and this one to be out next i want to give this uh, two pipes a uh, pipe connector create pipe connector and then I give this one and I give this one and my diameter was 30 so 30 and this one 30 and also I want to adjust the flow so it will be hydronic sup supply and this one to be hydronic return if I create a project to try uh, the fan coil unit file new project mechanical template ok then I go back to the family load into project 
This is how my family looks like. I can create supply duct and I can retur uh, create return duct. I can also create a hydronic supply and return.